The Unit 1 prose exam is on the 20th of May this year. It consists of two sections. Section A, which is focusing on Animal Farm, and there are four questions. First question is about character, with eight marks. Second question on language, ten marks. Third question, question C, about theme, which is based on the extract that you're given for ten marks. And the final question is about theme in one other part of the novel, which is worth 12 marks. It will take you 50 minutes to work through that section of the exam, and you should be working on one mark per minute. The second section of the exam is on mice and men, and you need to write one essay question for that section. This website here, schmoot.com, has got some useful information about character and about plot for Animal Farm in particular. You need to know very clearly who the characters are in Animal Farm and why they're important and what they do. You are given a character booklet in lessons, but you can also use the internet to research each character and make sure you know three points about each character that you could use if they come up in the extract that you're given. This extract here is the extract that we looked at in the exam lesson the other day. If you read through this, you can use this to help you answer the question on the following slide. The question will always be based in the same way. From the extract, what do you learn about the character of someone? Use evidence from the extract to support your answer. You can use the acronym DAD to help you find things about the character in the extract. If you think about dad as description, what the character might look like, or how the character is described, action, what the character does or says for the dialogue, and what other people say about them. So if you look at this question here, what do you learn about the character of Napoleon? If you go back to the extract on the previous page, annotate the text, see if you can find evidence about the character, and you're looking to make three point evidence explained paragraphs where you embed lots of quotes to support your point. Okay, so if you've read through the extract and made your three points, then you need to think about how you put those together into an essay example. This example here is a good example where you can see that the candidate has made very clear points, very thorough points about the character. So we can see Napoleon being demanding. They've embedded their quotations to show how the character is being demanding and then continued with other points about what the character of Napoleon is being like in the extract. Demanding, respected, powerful, cruel, and each time they make a point, they embed quotations to support what they're saying. This candidate would have achieved full marks for the answer because they show a perceptive understanding of the character they make several valid points and there's a focus commentary supported with evidence. If you have a look at this second example, you can see a different candidate attempting the question and you can compare the two answers. Both of them achieve full marks because they both use a very good range of evidence to support points about Napoleon's character. If you look at this slide here, you will see other things that the candidates could have talked about and other things that you might want to think about from the extract. What you could do now is try your own response to the character question using the points that you have found. If you look at the answer that you've written, you can use the mark scheme, this is the higher paper mark scheme, to decide what mark you would have achieved.